I use Canva AI every single day to help service-based businesses with flyers, QR codes, social media campaigns, and even full-fledged marketing campaigns using Canva AI fast. In this video, I'll show you the 12 tools that I use to make it happen and my top apps in Canva to take it even further. So let's not wait any longer, let's get started. The first thing you wanna do is go into canva.com. Now you'll notice in the, in the login, you can either do a free login or you can sign up for Canva Pro. I have Canva Pro, so let's just jump into my account. So once you get in your account, you're gonna to wanna to go over here to Canva AI. So now that we clicked on Canva AI, it's gonna give you multiple different choices that you can choose from to create designs, marketing campaigns, so you can see design for me, create images, draft document, code, and create a video clip. So we're gonna do all of these today, but let's just dive in here, design for me, and you can see it comes up with different ideas that you can actually get started. But let's just do a logo today. We're gonna do a logo for a coffee shop, right? I just put in this quick prompt and in the description below, I will have some of the prompts that I used in this video, but Canva Magic Write makes it very easy to come up with prompts for yourself when you're doing your designs. All right, so I put in the prompt and we're doing it for a coffee shop, right? And I'm just gonna click go and this is actually gonna design a logo for me for my coffee shop, my fictitious coffee shop, right? Now you can click on more designs, it'll give you more designs ideas. And if you notice, it also gives you other options to create with your design. And they're giving you options that are searched a lot. So it's helping you with your design. So let's go back now that we created a logo. Now, before we go back, let's say if you wanted to edit this, you would just click that, hit edit and use Canva editor. Now you can go into Canva editor and start editing that image. But let's go back and we're gonna do the next thing here. So we're gonna exit out of this. We're not gonna click on this, exit out of this. And now we're back to the home screen. Now again, it's still giving you different designs here to create but let's go to code for me. Now we're here, we're gonna actually type in a code for the coffee shop. I came up with a quick idea to match personalities with your coffee flavor and you just take a quiz on the website. So let's create it. Now that we have the prompt, we're just gonna create it here. It is actually creating the code for the prompt that I put in and we'll see how it turns out. Now that it came up with an exact quiz, let's try it out. This is crazy, but you can actually click it and use it in a design. So let's just start the quiz, right? So that, it's actually pretty incredible. What's your ideal way to start your morning? Jump out of bed, ready to conquer the world. Let's just say that. How do you handle stress? Let's just say power through it with high energy. What's your ideal weekend activity? Adventure sports, intense workouts. How do you prefer to work out? Steady and methodical, one step at a time. Let's do steady and methodical. Describe your personality best. Bold, ambitious, always on the go. Let's just do that. Double shot of espresso. Tell me that is not crazy. That just came up with that in literally seconds. This is a great idea, not only for a client's website, but that will help keep people on the site, give them a unique experience, and this could be a lead generator for the coffee shop that everyone wants to find out what their flavor is and take a quiz. So this is just one unique idea that was created just using Canva AI. So you can actually use this in the design, which is crazy. But what you can do is you can actually click here and it'll actually show you the code. That way you can copy the code and actually start using this. And you can even use it in the design as well. I hate to interrupt the video, but if you are liking the content and you made it this far, please consider subscribing. It definitely helps the channel, helps me make more tutorial videos and like and comment below and what do you want to see next and I'll do my best to come with more tutorial videos for you that are helpful. Well, let's get back to the video. Now we're going to do drafting a document. So we're going to go to draft a document and let's just go tactical document for marketing campaign and click on it. So it is drafting a tactical document for a marketing campaign. You can see it came up with a tactical document already for a marketing campaign, but let's take it a step further. Let's have it draft a document for a marketing campaign for my fake coffee shop. So we'll just click that and it'll go in there. See, it drafted the document. We're just gonna click on the document. Now that we clicked into the document, 
let's change it. The banner doesn't really make sense. So you could do magic right and change the banner, right? Come up with different ideas when you're changing the banner. But let's not do that. Let's double click on the banner and this will allow us to actually change the banner. Now let's just do in the banner, we'll put coffee shop, right? We'll just hit coffee shop and this will come up with different ideas for the coffee shop. Let's just do this instead and replace current page. So we're gonna replace the current page. That's what I like. We're gonna save and we're gonna go back. How easy and quick it is to make these changes. Let's say we wanna rewrite this text. Again, we just click magic right, transform text, run and prompt anything. So we can put in a prompt or we can click on this and put rewrite. And that's literally gonna rewrite that text for us and you can hit more like this and that's going to keep expanding and give you different ideas of that and you can keep clicking on it. Magic Right can save you a ton of time when coming up with different ideas for your campaigns and for just your writing in general, similar to ChatGPT, but it's already built in in Canva. Now, what you also can do, which is one of Magic Switch, so you can actually translate this entire document into another language which is crazy. Or you can go back and actually transform this into an Excel suite, into a blog post. Canva AI can make it very easy for you to progress and do things a lot quicker. Now that we did the document, let's go back and let's design a graphic and an image. Now we're back, we're gonna go to create an image. So we create image, right? And it asks you different styles. So let's go with cinematic just to start. We'll do 16 by 19. So all you're gonna do is type in whatever prompt you wanna use or whatever image idea you have and Canva AI just brings it to life. What I put down there for the coffee shop, right? So let's just say we're gonna use this image right here. We're gonna click on it and then you can boost resolution. You can download the image or you can change it, but I wanna open it with editor. Now let's move into Magic Studios. Now, Magic Studios is by far the tool that I use probably the most out of all the tools that I've showed you so far. I use Canva AI a lot, but Magic Studios is the portion of the AI that I use by far the most. Let's just say I want to use Background Remover. You click on Background Remover. Anywhere you see this crown, it means it's the pro version, but I highly recommend the pro version. You click on here. And this, you can do restore. You can see where it says restore. We can pull this higher or lower for the circle. But let's say we just want to restore the background here or some of the background. Let's say we didn't like that. You can actually just click back and it'll get rid of that. But let's go back. Let's say we want to design something better, but we want it a little bit smaller and we want to do this throughout the background. And then you just click back and that's how the image looks. How many different designs you can do. And if you click back, it'll just actually get the background back. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna get rid of the background. Now we're gonna do background generator. Now it's gonna generate the image that I want. What I put here is outside a coffee shop on a quiet street, very peaceful with sun shining. And you can see it's actually gonna come up with different backgrounds. It came up with different backgrounds outside in the street, exactly what I had in mind, right? And we can hit done and we can keep that background. But let's just go back to the original image. We'll just click back. Magic erase is exactly what it sounds like. It'll actually click in magic erase. It'll erase that portion. But let's say we actually want to erase the actual image by just clicking. So you go magic erase, hit click, and then click on that person and you can erase that. Let's just say we just want to erase the coffee cup. We'll just do that and hit erase. It'll actually get rid of the coffee cup. <laughs> it always amazes me the stuff AI can do. So it just got rid of the coffee cup, but that's not really good for our ad. So we'll just put that back in, right? Now the next thing is gonna be magic grab. Now I use this a lot for thumbnails. Now magic grab, we're actually gonna grab this image, right? And we'll grab multiple images here and then we're gonna grab it. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna create a silhouette of that image. It's gonna grab the image. And what it does is creates a silhouette around that image. And let's say I just want it around. It has that highlight around the image in the background. We can move it so you can kind of see. Let's go click back. 
and now it has that highlight behind it. You can do the same thing with Gravitex, then Magic Edit. Now we're gonna use Magic Edit. So we click on Magic Edit and we're gonna edit by we're gonna hit click and we're gonna edit this actual coffee cup. Now we're actually gonna change this into, let's say a coffee glass, coffee in glass cup. It actually generated the coffee in a glass. So let's just keep that and we'll hit done and we'll select the one that you can select the one that you like the most. I actually just like, I like this one. So I'm gonna hit done. She is sipping coffee off a glass. What we're gonna use next is magic expand. Now, since I actually don't wanna expand this picture, it's not gonna really work well, but with magic expand, what you could do is actually expand an image. So let's say you're outside and you take a photo and the tree's missing or the tree doesn't extend all the way. You can use Magic Expand, it'll actually extend that footage and extend that image. So that's what Magic Expand will do. Now that you've learned how to use Magic Studio, let's jump right into Magic Media. Now, now we're in Magic Media. You can do images, you can do graphics, and you can do video. We'll do graphics and video since we already did an image. So let's do graphics. Once we're in graphics, let's do coffee bean. And all we're gonna do is you can choose style, right? Let's go with sticker but this gives you different styles that you can kind of come up with for your graphic. Let's do sticker and let's hit generate graphics. Now, all we do is click on the one that we like and that will add it to the image. So let's make this smaller and let's add it here. And then we go text, let's do magic right again. You can use magic right here as well. And let's describe the task. Write ad copy for a coffee shop enticing people to stop by. So let's just generate that. See, it did a pretty good job by writing that. But let's do this, this but. Keep it within one sentence. And then we can insert and it's going to insert that text. So the next thing we're going to create is a video. Now you can create a video that actually matches your design and kind of what you're going with for this coffee shop. It generated the video of professionals outside drinking coffee. Now that I generated the video very easy off simple prompts, you can see how beneficial this can be. You can add it to B-roll to your videos. You could add the videos to your website in your ads and your social media campaigns. Canva AI is a game changer. Now that you have the video, let's jump into AI voice. Let's say you wanted to add an AI voice to your video. It's very easy to do. All you're gonna do is click on audio and then you'll see right here, generate AI voice. Now I already put it in there, stop into our coffee shop. These are free, let's do uh, one of the free ones. Let's have Ralph do it and he'll just say it. Stop into our coffee shop and enjoy a fresh cup of all natural locally brewed coffee. Right there, let's generate AI voice and it's gonna generate it and then add it to our video. Now we have a video and we have AI voice for that. Now you can actually apply the AI voice in your ads, in your campaigns, in your social media if you yourself don't want to actually be recording your own voice. Now let's jump into some of the top effects and top apps that I use. So let's just click on this image, same thing, edit. And then from here, if you scroll down, one of the, one of my favorites is the blur effect. So you can actually blur the image, right? And again, let's do the whole image. You can blur it, right? And then you can blur the, the image as much as you'd like to blur it. Right, so let's say we want to blur it just a little bit. We can blur the image just a little bit. If you want to blur it a lot, of course, you can blur it a lot. I use that a lot on the backgrounds of images to make the background blurred. Or if there's a certain spot on an image you want to blur, it's one easy way to do it. The next effect is the shadow effect. So if you click on the shadows, you can see you can do different shadows, different outlines. Let's say if you didn't want to do the magic grab, you just wanted to do an outline like this. You could, and then you can actually change the color. Let's change that to white. You can do the kind of the similar thing that you wanna do with your image or the magic grab by doing the shadow and outline. Let's keep it that way. And then here you can choose different styles and colors for your image. Let's say we wanna do black and white. You can change the image to black and white. These are different styles to the image. Usually I will do like the black and white here. You can do the intensity, right, as well and adjust that. So here are some apps that I use the most. I won't dive deep into all of them. 
I'm just gonna briefly tell you the ones that I use. If there's one that you want me to dive into, let me know below and I will dive into that. Mockups is really cool because when you click on it, it'll give you different mockups that you, designs you can make and actually add an image to a design, like a coffee cup in a computer. You can add the image inside of the computer as well. And a lot of times I'll do it where, you know, the image is in a cell phone or something like that. But mockups is really great. You have image upscaler. If the image isn't that bad, it's exactly what it says. It, it upscales the image, makes it a little better. And then I like the shape cropping where you actually create any shapes that you want. Here are some of the additional apps that I like to use. If you go down here and click on apps, it'll have your apps, discover new apps, and you can actually go here and just search for a new app. And you literally just type out what you're looking for. Here's some additional apps that I like to use outside of the ones that I just showed you. And I'll briefly explain what they do. Gradient, it actually is exactly what it is. Comes up with different gradients. Transform image is one that I really like. It'll allow you to like turn an image to different angles. And let me know if you want me to dive deeper into any of these apps, I definitely will. But these are some of the ones that I like to use. And then you have the YouTube, of course and then frames you can create your own so if there's specific apps that you like when using canva let us know below in the comments now let's dive into canva sheets now canva sheets can be really really incredible also in another video i'll show you exactly how to use canva sheets to come up with an entire campaign using a lot of the ai tools that we just use to come up with social media campaigns for your business or another business for canva sheets you click on this you can see where it has actions here. You can do different actions. You can generate a table from all, your, all of this. You can magic charts. You can make charts, magic insights. It's incredible the stuff you can do with Canva Sheets. But for time's sake, we're not gonna do a deep dive. I hope that was helpful. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe, and comment. It definitely helps the algorithm and helps out the channel. Other than that, I'll see you in the next one.